make sure you tune into Online Prosperity Show, where, where I'll be talking about how I've taken my digital marketing career to the next level. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Prosperity Online TV show. And today we've got none other than Jacob. Jacob, how are you, my man? Good, Prosper. How are you, man? Very well, thanks. Now, Jacob is working in the sales and marketing division of Corporate Protection Australia. That sounds very corporate-y. <laughs> but what he does is he's created the training division that is now called Baseline, where they streamline you know, all the content that helps people through their customer journey and his remaining, um, you know, the go-to guy in the digital space with baseline training. Now, have I said that correct, uh, Jacob? Yes, that's pretty spot on. Yeah, that's good. Great stuff. Now, Jacob, tell us a little bit about your journey into the digital marketing space. You know, where did you start and how did it all uh, go? Absolutely. So, um, I guess my very first real job was uh, working um, in, in retail banking. So I was working for Commonwealth Bank, which is probably one of the biggest banks in Australia. Um, whilst I was working there, a friend of mine got into coding and, and, and developing apps. Um, <clears throat> so what happened was he developed an app for our barbershop. You know, um, I probably haven't seen my barber for a little while, so let's, let's not shine him up. <laughs> is the app not working anymore? <laughs> <laughs> So um, it was a, it was a quite a simple app. So what happened was is you sort of book, book your appointments through the app, um, you buy the hair products through the app, and you know sort of find your way to, to, to the place of business. Very very simple in in, its, in what it does. Um, and I thought it was absolutely pretty pretty amazing that you know pretty in, in 2012 it was sort of ahead of the game for small businesses. And what we wanted to do was open that up to all the other small businesses um, that were in that similar sort of budget range where they could, you know, truly afford something that was ahead of the game. Um, and we really, the, the way we really took that off was through all the old school methods of, of cold calling um, and, you know, setting those appointments and then going out to have lunch with these, these business owners to, to, to close the deal. Um, <clears throat> And it worked really, really, really well. We, we, we got a really good um, customer base within the first sort of 12 months. We, in our first three months, we signed our first 10 clients, which was a, a pretty big deal for us. Um, <clears throat> but, but from there, what happened was is we ran the business for two and a half, three years. And um, another bigger app agency wanted to come and buy us out. And... Um, when we saw all those zeros, we, we really couldn't uh, resist. And, um, you know, after a few negotiations, we went, went ahead and, and sold the business. Um, so that was really my first step into digital marketing and uh, u utilizing the, the app. They could, you know, do video marketing through the app so that, the, you know, their customers could get a push notification of whatever specials they might have coming up, all those sorts of little cool things within the app that, that really helped them um, get a really good ROI from, from the app. After we sold the app, I, uh, I, I took off to the States for, for six months and um, did my own thing for, for that period. Um, I, was, I was on a working holiday visa whilst I was in the States, but um, I didn't do much work, I'll be quite honest. <laughs> but um, building the app agency from nothing to, to something was probably the, the highlight of my career. And it took a lot of a lot of hard work and a lot of man hours to be able to, to build that into what it was. When I returned from the States, I, I joined up with a, I started working with a digital marketing agency called Dijon, um, the, the, the only agency to be featured, uh, Australian agency to be featured on moz.com, which um, if, if, if I know my, uh, if I know who's gonna be viewing this video, they, they should certainly know who moz.com is. That was where I really, Got, got a good grasp of, of the ability of digital marketing. And um, the, when I was taking customers, I was working as a, a business development manager, so I was pure, mostly sales and a little bit of strategy. Well, hey, look, there's a whole world of things that I didn't explore um, within, within my last business. And that was a really big eye-opener for me. 
Um, and I really wanted to take what I could see and, and the, the potential that I saw and take it and run with it. Um, and it was really, really interesting for me. I worked at Dijon for six months and then I, I moved on to Corporate Protection Australia um, within Baseline. Um, and I took on a role as sales and marketing manager. Um, sales, I, I, knew, I knew I had the sales part down, but the, the marketing part was a long journey for me. Um, definitely in, in relation to not just dealing with, with customers' accounts, but actually dealing with something that's your own, that you, that, that you really own and you really have a passion to, to, to take to the next level. And um, there was a whole lot of opportunity within Bank line because they didn't do print. Um, they were working off Corporate Protection Australia's um, group website opposed to its own personal website, own, um, own business website. So what we did was we, we developed that website and um, our ROI from that website to date is we, we've invested $15,000 into it and the ROI has been $85,000 so far. So, um, you know, from those from those figures, they definitely saw the ab ability of, of, of what we could do, or where we could take things. So great. So th that is quite. Um, a, yeah, that is. Sorry, that, that is quite a journey. Now, with uh, baseline, now what are your main uh, functions? What, what 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 do you have to wake up and do in the morning for you to create this? Uh, massive return. Sure. So um, I guess my day-to-day -day operations would obviously be, you know, handling the incoming inquiries from the websites, um, tracking my Google AdWords or my all my paper clicks. Um, obviously, my my social media activity is pr pretty important, especially within LinkedIn. Um, LinkedIn is something that I really really value, um, and I I see the a massive amount of potential within LinkedIn. I don't, I've closed many deals through LinkedIn, um, and then the other the other part of my job is you know managing my sales team, obviously ensuring that they're keeping on top of um, we've got a live chat option through our website, so in, ensuring that they're on top of that, um, and then you know other things would include you know we've got a we've got a copywriter and 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 an article writer that, that we employ um, twice. Two, two, two days every fortnight, so once a week. Um, and obviously managing him, making sure that he's got all the, the tools necessary to, to, to build you know, great content, um, which is really important for my strategy moving forward is to really place him, the customer at the center of everything and, and not be not talking about us and what we, what we need. A lot of the marketing in the past from baseline was things around sending out mailing campaigns. Oh, you know, book in for our course tomorrow, and we'll give you a free participant. Well, it's it's tomorrow. <laughs> it's, it's it's obviously based around what we need. Um, and my focus was not not to have that at all. Was to base everything around and taking them through that journey of well, hey, look, we really care, and we really we, we obviously want to do business with you, but if you don't then we've still provided you that value. Um, so that's really, I guess, my day-to-day my -day operations. Great stuff. <clears throat> Obviously, you've used your experience from the app development and brought it all in there and in between. Have you had any influences or people that, you know, have helped you stay on, on, on course or any mentors that you've utilized uh, for you to actually get this success that you've gotten? Absolutely. So uh, when I was working at Dijan, I, um, I was very close with, with two of the strategists there. So one being Mike Jolly and the other one being Mark Soon. Um, they taught me so much. They really held my hand through that, through that learning period of, you know, learning SEO and learning, um, you know, you Google AdWords and you can see. Um, Mike Jolly in particular has really helped me with my media. I personally don't do Facebook, Insta oh, I do do Instagram. I don't do Facebook or Twitter or anything like that. I'm on LinkedIn. Um, but, you know, being able to understand that from a commercial standpoint opposed to, you know, going on there and, and 
you know, hitting like on one of my friend's photos or whatever it may be. Um, it was a really big learning learning point for me is because I, I like to keep everything about my private life private. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, it was, it was a big learning curve for me to learn, you know, the different um, functionalities within Facebook since it's been quite some time since I used it. Um, and obviously all the other social media platforms out there as well. So that was, those are the two, the two guys that really, you know, put me forward and, um, and, and really took me to that next level of, Great stuff. Well, obviously, if you tuned in and you are um, watching what Jacob has done with his journey through the digital marketing space, and you're wondering how you too um, can be able to get access to such results and also, you know, a story like that, I would invite you to download our 20 steps to studying your own six figure digital marketing agency. I'll be putting the links at the bottom. Now, obviously, Jacob, you have had this success you've had people that have helped you out is there any sort of resources that you vouch uh you know also contributed to this success you know like tools or apps that you use that other people can uh jump onto and also find incredible use and success like you have absolutely so um from a learning perspective i really find hubspot um the the amount of content they produce on a daily basis is amazing um so HubSpot, from a learning perspective, is definitely where I've, I've learned a lot of those skills and really sort of um, fine-tuned a lot of the things that I wasn't sure about. I could always go to their information hub and, and be able to find every, anything that I'm looking for. So I'd really recommend that anybody, um, if they're, they're really looking to, you know, take, their next, take that next step in their digital marketing careers to check out HubSpot. Um, another another great tool that I really 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 love is Semrush. Um, Semrush is perfect for you know doing that con competitor analysis. Um, you know, finding the other great thing within Semrush is you can get all your reports through there. So it's you're not sitting through you know looking through you know, Google Search Console and Google Analytics. It generates all those reports for you and. When you when you hand a nice pretty report to the board, they they really love all those sorts of things. So those are probably the two that, that stick out to me the most. Um, obviously, utilize a, a lot of other tools like Buffer. Buffer I, I really like for my social media. It's probably not the most advanced one out there, but it's definitely uh, very cost effective, and it definitely has the functionality that that's needed. Um, obviously, there's some other ones out there that that are a bit more far, a bit, bit more advanced, but um, I really enjoy using Buffer. Um, obviously, all your Google tools, so your Google Analytics, your Search Consoles, um, AdWords. Obviously, I've mentioned a few times now. Um, so yeah, look, those are the those are the tools that I've been using to you know sort of take things to that next level. Great stuff. Now, Jacob, you've had two successes that I've mentioned. All right. The first one is your app company being bought out, which is what every digital marketer aspires to build a company and, and be bought out or have some sort of partnership or investment injection. And the success that you've had building the corporate side of baseline um, mm -hmm. from, from nothing to an exceeding 85K in return. Okay. So what sort of, advice would you give somebody who is entering into this whole digital marketing space given that the, the the success that you've had is it an easy thing what should they do to persevere and you know all that stuff that you can say to encourage them the biggest thing for me was i'm, I'm a numbers person i really love numbers and i really like to learn off of any failures that we've had so for instance when we first launched our adwords campaign we spent I think it was somewhere in the vicinity of fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars, with a return of very dismal. It was I think five hundred dollars, which really wasn't where I wanted to be. So I think the biggest thing is to learn from your mistakes. Um, that is the most important thing, especially with all the data that you can um, that is that is accessible now. So obviously, with Google AdWords, it's quite easy to to, to find those pieces where you're missing. Um, for me, it was my ad copy, um, and in, in turn, we've um, employed a, a copywriter to come in on a, on a fortnightly basis to, to be able to help assist me 
in that. So I think the, the biggest thing is don't be embarrassed or um, feel, feel that you're not um, skilled enough and ask for help. I think asking for help and getting guidance from certain people that you respect and that you trust um, is really imperative uh, when, when, when you're taking those journeys. Great stuff. Well, this, this has been such an insightful interview with you, Jacob, right? Um, now that you're in the position you're in, you had your success, um, you've grown that website, where should we see Jacob in the next two, three, four, five years? Or what are you doing to ensure that you have continued growth and you're developing yourself in this uh, space? The biggest thing for me, me, where I see myself going is, um, as, uh, as I mentioned to you, to you before, Prosper, the Corporate Protection Australia group, um, they, they have quite a lot of um, so we provide security, um, health and medical services and fire and rescue services and then obviously consulting. Um, and then baseline comes in underneath that as well. So the biggest next step for me is being able to um, take over that piece. We're in the process of building that, building a new website for the CPA group. The current one is, um, <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I think it's about, uh, I think it's about six or seven years old. Um, so really the next step for me is to be able to push, push that new website. Um, we've got a, a really great uh, initiative coming up where we're going to have some, some industry thought leaders, um, you know, really pushing pushing the, the people in our organisation that have that knowledge and have that respect within the industry. They don't, they don't push themselves enough. So that's something that um, is going to be really important for me in the next, you know, sort of two to three years is to really see that grow. And um, obviously, you know, if we can get the results from that, um, it's going to be, you know, tenfold and we're going to, we're going to see um, returns. So that's, that's really what where I'm headed in the next sort of three, three to five years. I really, really enjoy working where I am and they've got a really great culture. Um, so I really want to stick around here. So obviously there could be some aspiring digital marketing person right now that's watching this um, and you might think that, yes, Jacob is my guy. How can they get a hold of you? Absolutely. So you can always catch me on email. Emails are the best way to catch me. It's uh, jacob.davidson at baselinetraining.com. Um, more than happy to you know, help with anyone on their journey. Um, I'd be more than happy to you know, provide that assistance. Right, and in the event that um, you didn't catch that, every one of those uh, details is gonna be in the show notes, all right. Jacob, thank you so much for your time today. I know we caught you during your busy schedule trying to make 85,000 and selling app uh, companies is not easy <laughs> so we really, really appreciate your time today uh, thank you so much um, and if you've been watching this and you've got value in this don't forget to subscribe and grab your copy of the 20 steps to starting your own six-figure digital marketing agency and also if you want to get a hold of Jacob um, his email and everything else is going to be in the show notes Jacob thank you so much thank you so much I really appreciate the opportunity not a problem sir